7cm72.0kg ISKA 世界スーパーウェルター級チャンピオン小比類巻き高い行き<笑>オーナーリアンスジャッジ黒住達也中川圭介友武高尾グッドクラウド here at the Budokan Strange fighting setup style there for Valente. Looks like he's looking to use his front leg. He looks, for one thing, very wary of Kuhiramaki. He showed that very first technique that he had a strong right round leg kick. Valente just landed a good front leg side kick. May be an effective weapon form. It's not something that you see in Japan very often. It may throw Kuramaki off a little bit. Let me switch into a right side forward stance. Still looking to use the front leg. Good, good leg kick by Kuramaki. That's got to hurt. It's got to pay dividends. The referee's got to urge him to do something. Hey, referee tells him to get moving. Virtually no punching yet between the two. Another good leg kick by Hiromaki. Valente switching sides probably to avoid those leg kicks. Now he's just going to get him on his right leg. Spinning back kick and spinning back fist attempts both miss. Stance throwing off to Hiramaki. He just does not seem prone to go forward. And Valente I think landed with that spinning back kick. He did. He did land with it. It wasn't clean enough. Score knockdown. Now you see as he went down, he tried to grip, grip him almost in a scissors hold. This is a, a, kind of a clash of disciplines between these two. To Hiramaki more in the classic uh, K1 or Muay Thai style. Hands up high. And zeroed in on that left leg. Valente went in off him, at least. He's hiding it down. Nice sidekick. Those are ended up being more pushes than anything else, though. Valente's going to have to show more than just being able to do a front leg sidekick to win this bout. So the uh, end of an interesting setup, round number one. Tony Valente seems uh, set up to throw the sidekicks throughout the night. And Kuhiramaki will take that kick if he can get it. We're going to have to see what uh, develops in the second round. Valente cannot fight an entire fight the way he's doing. Those front leg sidekicks are not going to win him the bout. He's got to begin to use those to set up for some heavier artillery. So hand combinations or some lateral type of kicking techniques like roundhouse kicks. 
And that stance is also going to cost him dearly in leg kicks the longer that he stays stationary. This was the spinning hook kick attempt, but you see that it was jammed by Kohiro Maki, and he actually made contact on the head with the outside of his calf. That's what kept there from being much damage to Kohiro Maki. Too much Vaseline on the face of Takeuki Kohiramaki. Round two! And here we go, round two, scheduled for three. The cleaner blows in that first round landed by Kohiramaki, but a couple of good sidekicks by Valente. Now Valente coming out with some roundhouse kicks, hopefully being told by his corner. And he's going to have to vary his repertoire if he's going to to take this bout. Now that was a jump spinning hook kick to the head and again it didn't quite hit clean with the heel. Pushed Kuhiromaki down and that's why it was not called a knockdown. Valente now using the gloves somewhat. Kuhiromaki, cool of head, waited for Valente to get up and then nailed him with that roundhouse kick again. Hiromaki is very accurate with those leg kicks. This is only a three-round fight. You don't have much time for them to take effect, but he's he's landing so many in every round that he's going to win the fight on decision from him, if nothing else. Oh, great counter, great timing by Hiromaki. Oh, good right hand by Valente. Good counter. Now switching sides. I think it's because he doesn't want to get hit in that left leg anymore. Now Kohiramaki doing what I expected, starting to throw kicks with that left leg. Whenever Valente switches, Kohiramaki's going to switch. Oh, here we go. Going back with two sharp leg kicks. Left leg of Valente has to be hurt again this point. So he's starting to pull away. The leg kicks are coming. Valente just cannot get out of the way of it. Valente has to realize that his best defense on that is to move forward through his own techniques. So far, he's just been an almost stationary target for Hiramaki. Hiramaki now getting a little more accustomed to Valente's style, and he's able to avoid those spins. No damage from that. Oh, oh, oh. Took it just a oh, short delay, but that great kick by Takeyuki Kohiramaki to the midsection of Tony Valente rumble, rumble the American fighter. Valente is hurt, you can see it in his face. Hurt very bad by Kohiramaki. He's getting animated now to try to make himself less of a target, try to move around. He's getting a little desperate. Well, round two ended in a flurry after Valente got back up. But that was just a devastating shot to the bread basket with that kick by Kohiramaki. Certainly the best fight, the best uh, blow of the fight by either fighter. Perfectly placed by Kohiramaki. Just waited for his opportunity, been working on the legs. Unrelenting on that thigh. Yeah, three in a row. You see the pain in the face of Valente. Oh, and he just brings it up high. I thought it had caught him on the ribs, but I think it was right in the solar plexus. Probably just took his wind out for a moment. What great placement. Uh, Valente was lucky he went out and down, or down at least as quickly as he did, because Kohiramaki was pouncing. Round three, these are all three minute bouts. Battle of the Rising Sun, Tokyo, along with Karen, along with Mike Sawyer. Calling the action for you. Valente continuing to use unorthodox techniques. Still doesn't appear to have much of an offense planned. 
to Hurimaki going back to that tender spot on the chest of Valente. He's got to start working downstairs a little bit on those thighs to open up the chest. Valente has, has taken numerous leg kicks to both thighs. Oh. Got him again right in the same spot. And Kohiramaki has found the sweet spot on Tony Valente. I don't think Valente is going to get up. And that is it. He came in with the kicks. He stayed with the kicks. And he won with the kicks. Did Takayuki Kohiramaki here. Early third round action with a knockout of Tony Valente who is still down. Kohiramaki just waited for his chance to go right back to the midsection. And he, he, he couldn't have hit the same spot more precisely if he'd had a, a homing beacon on his foot. Came right underneath the gloves and right again in that solar plexus just under the floating ribs. And this time, Valenti down for the count. That just takes all of your breath out of you. You can't breathe at all. You can't do anything. Most of the time, that's not an easy target to hit. But because the leg kicks had been working so well the whole fight, he had Valente thinking low on the roundhouse kicks. And twice in a row, he was able to catch him in the midsection. Well, Valente's stance also opened himself up to exactly that type of attack because he was wide open, uh, foot meets chest, and Kohiramaki goes out. The ropes uh, victor over Tony Valente, upping his record to 23. 10 and 2, now 19 knockouts in his career. Very effective, very impressive kicker was Takayuki Kohiramaki. Get your ass up and hurry up. Coming up uh, next, Takahiro.